हेलो एवरीवन होप यू आर लर्निंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस द थर्ड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लीड कोड वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन इट्स अ मीडियम लेवल इट्स अ हार्ड लेवल प्रॉब्लम ओके आई जस्ट सॉ वाइल मेकिंग द वीडियो इट्स अ हार्ड लेवल प्रॉब्लम एंड आई ऑल्सो फील द सेम टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट इट वॉज अ गुड प्रॉब्लम टू सॉल्व यू कैन सी दी एक्यूरेसी इज वेल टोटल सबमिशन इज अब एट थाउजेंड बट टोटल एक्सेप्टेड वन आर जस्ट थर्टीन हंड्रेड एंड ऑड गुड प्रॉब्लम टू सॉल्व आई एल ऑल्सो टेल दैट दिस प्रॉब्लम इज रिलेटेड टू एन अदर प्रॉब्लम a very uh, trivial problem that are generally asked in the interview so an extension of that problem so i loved this problem to be very honest so the problem name is minimum cost to make equal array equal you are given two zero index arrays nums and cost consisting e each consist of n positive integers now you can do the following operations any number of times that is increase or decrease any element of the array uh, of of nums basically uh, by one right you can either increase the element or decrease the element now the cost of doing one operation on the ith element is cost of i right return the minimum total cost such that all the elements of the array array nums becomes equal right so forget about the problem statement i'll explain you okay it says that you are given two arrays one is nums it has certain elements it like for example these are certain elements okay you are also given another array that's that is a cost array and it it ha it has the cost of changing those elements right these are the cost okay now what it says it says that you can perform certain operations any number of time okay what are those operations pick any element from the array pick any element okay and either increase that element or decrease that element by one okay you can either increase or decrease that element by one now the cost of changing that element by a magnitude of one either increasing or decreasing is basically given in this cost array so if you change one there is a cost of 2 if you change 3 there is a cost of 3 if you change 5 there is a cost of 1 and if you change 2 there is a cost of 14 okay this is what the problem says now what we need to do is we need to tell what is the minimum total cost uh, we will have to spend such that all the elements of the array become equal okay now if i talk about this one you can just see just see here um so one has a cost of 2 let me just write it like this it's it's relatively easy to visualize Three has a cost of this. Five has a cost of this, and two has a cost of fourteen. Now, just see if I change every element to one. Okay, if I change every element to one. So, if uh, final element is one, I'm just giving explaining one example in detail uh, so that you guys are clear with that. If I change every element equals to one, I make every element equals to one. So, what will happen? You have to change three to one. This three will be changed to one. Now, what will be what will be the cost? so once 3 is changed to 2 and then 1 so changing from 3 to 2 and then to 1 what is the cost 3 changes to 2 so to cost is 3 we just see here and changing 2 to 1 is again 3 so total cost is 6 so total cost of changing 3 to 1 is 6 what about 5 so 5 is changed to 4 then 3 then 2 then 1 this cost is 1 1 1 1 so total cost is 4 so till now the total cost is 6 plus 4 now i need to sorry i need to change two as well right we need to make all the elements equal so i need just a second yeah i need to change two as well so two is made one so the cost is 14 so what will be the total cost 14 plus 4 that is 18 18 plus 6 that is 24 so if you change the all the elements to one your cost is 24 what about changing all the elements to three so you just see One is changed to three, so one is made two, then three. The cost of this is two. The cost of this is two. Three is not changed. How do you make three? Five to four, then three. The cost of this is one. The cost of this is one, and then you make two equals to three. So the cost of is fourteen. What is the total cost? It is um, two plus two. Just a second. One to two is um, yeah. Just a second. I I was changing everything to three. Right, right. So the total cost is four in this case. Two in this case and fourteen. So fourteen plus two, sixteen. Sixteen plus two, twenty is in this case. So that means changing every element to three is beneficial as compared to changing every element to one. Now let's change five as well. Okay, let's change every element to five. I'll write it here so that everything is visible in just one part. So you change change one to two, then three, then four, then five. So that is one, two, three, four. So that is four into cost. So that is eight. Now you change. Three to five, so three to four, four to five. So this is three plus three. That is six. Total is fourteen till now. Now I change two to five. So two to three, 
then 4, then 5. So 1, 2, 3. That is 3 into what is the cost? 14. That is 42. So 42 plus 14 plus 8. Now it's a big number, right? It, it is 64. So that means changing every element to 5 is not at all beneficial. Let's check for the last number. If I change everything to 2, what happens? So you change 1 to 2. The cost is 2. You don't need to change 2 to 2. You change 3 to 2. The cost is 3. And you change 5 to 2. So 5 is changed to 4, then 3, then 2. 1, 2, 3. 3 steps. So total cost is 3 because it is 1. So 3 plus 3 plus 2. That means the cost is 8. So what is the minimum cost? 24, 64, 20 and 8. What is the minimum cost? It's 8. So that means changing every every element to 2 is the beneficial step. And that, that is why my answer will be 8. Right? So this was a detailed explanation. Now let's uh let's see what basically it means right so the the number of elements can be 10 raised to the power 5 and obviously the any element nums of i is basically less than equals to 10 raised to the power 6 right so now if you guys are thinking about a brute force that means picking up every element and then traversing the array to see that if i change all the elements to this particular element Right, what is the cost? So that in that case, your complexity will be big O of 10 raised to the power 6 into big O of 10 raised to the power 5. That is big O of 10 raised to the power 11, which will be equal to PLE. So no need of doing this, right? What could be the other approach? Let's look into certain observations, right? What is the first observation? So the first observation is, our answer will be like, the most beneficial part for us will be that I change every element to one of the elements which is present in the array itself right so there are certain elements in the array so i can pick any element and if i change uh, all the elements to this so like or or i could say um, uh, the most beneficial step will be picking up one element from the array itself like it's not like that that my array has one three five and i change every element to four and it becomes beneficial right so right so that is why uh, I, I pick one of those elements or let's see whether this is beneficial or not. Let's see further, right? Let's see. Forget about this statement, okay? So what I do, suppose there are two elements. Suppose there are, my array has two elements, two and two, okay? On five as well. Now the cost of changing this is 14. The cost of changing this is 20 and the cost of changing this is suppose 10. So just think here, if I am my final element in which I'll be transforming these elements, is suppose uh, 5 just assume forget about the cost so just see this 2 will be changed to 5 this 2 also will be changed to 5 so can't i say that the total cost of changing 2 is 14 plus 20 i am doing this so that i can reduce my problem statement okay so that means what i can do i can pick the distinct elements in my array i can pick the distinct elements and calculate and basically add uh, the cost of all the occurrences of those elements right so add all the occurrences of 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the total cost of changing 1 to any other element will be the total cost of all the elements, um, all the one elements right now in your initial array. Similarly for 2, similarly for 3 and so on, right? This is the first step you do. So after you do this, how you can do this? Uh, basic stuff will be uh, pick up an array. Uh, so I, I in my code what I have done, I have taken a array cost of numbers and obviously the length will be 10 raised to the power 6 plus 2 i have taken okay now what do you do you do something like cost of numbers of nums of i for this particular number i'm doing right so plus equals to cost of i so now what is hap what happened in this cost of nums array for 2 i am having the total cost of changing all the twos in my array there could be five twos and they do they can have uh, different costs so i have added all those because now i am only concerned by with the values that i am changing right irrespective of how many times it is occurred right so that will be equal to total cost now what is the other thing that i can do so just see let's go into another observation right let's go into another observation. now this cost of array it is basically a sort of a sorted array what i mean by sorted array my indexing starts from 0 1 2 3 4 something like this and this this array basically has that what is the cost of changing one what is the cost of total cost of changing four and so on now what i can do is what i can do let's look into certain observation let me take a prefix array let me take a prefix array okay now what i can do i can the intuition here is suppose the indices are 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so what i can do i can take a prefix array and i can take a suffix array and then what are the things that i can do i can see that suppose i change all the elements to 2 
सपोज आई चेंज ऑल दी एलिमेंट्स टू टू विच आर ऑन माई लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ओके आई चेंज ऑल दी एलिमेंट्स टू टू विच आर ऑन माई लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ चेंजिंग ऑल दी एलिमेंट्स टू टू विच आर ऑन माई लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज स्टोर्ड हेयर ओके इज स्टोर्ड हेयर सिमिलरली फॉर माई सफिक्स हेरे फॉर द सेम इंडेक्स वॉट आई कैन डू आई कैन आई कैन फाइंड वॉट इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग ऑल दी एलिमेंट्स ऑन माई राइट हैंड साइड टू टू वट इज द टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग ऑल दी एलिमेंट्स ऑन माई राइट हैंड साइड टू टू सो वट विल द टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग ऑल दी एलिमेंट्स टू टू इट विल बी दिस कॉस्ट प्लस दिस कॉस्ट बिकॉज दिस गाय कवर्स दीज एलिमेंट्स एंड दिस गाय कवर्स दीज एलिमेंट्स सो बेसिकली यू हैव कवर्ड द होल एरे एंड ऑब्वियसली दिस एलिमेंट इज इक्वल्स टू टू ओनली राइट मतलब यू डोंट नीड टू चेंज दिस एलिमेंट सो सम हाउ इफ आई कंस्ट्रक्ट दिस प्रीफिक्स एरे एंड सफिक्स एरे सो ऑल आई नीड टू डू आई नीड टू ट्रेवर्स माई एरे एंड चेक द मिनिमम वैल्यू मिनिमम सम ऑफ द करेस्पॉन्डिंग एलिमेंट्स राइट फॉर ईच आई जस्ट कंसिड जस्ट फाइंड द मिनिमम सम दैट यू गेट ओके इन द प्रीफिक्स एंड द सफिक्स एरे सो फॉर ईच आई यू फाइंड द मिनिमम ऑफ प्रीफिक्स ऑफ आई प्लस सफिक्स ऑफ आई दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई कैन डू नाउ द क्वेश्चन कम्स हाउ डू यू बिल्ड दिस एरे ओके सो लेट मी टेक द एग्जाम्पल गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम इट सेल्फ and that will become easier right so my array is 1 3 5 and 2 the cost is 2 3 1 and 14 okay now what will my cost of numbers array look like it will look like something like this it will look like so this this is 1 2 3 4 5 these are the elements that i have obviously 4 is not there but this this cost i'll be traversing this from 1 to n right so what will happen what is the cost of changing one it is 2 just see here what is the cost of changing this 3 it is 3 right what is the cost of changing 5 it is 1 cost of changing 2 is 14 and cost of changing 4 is 0 right this is the first array i am done what about prefix array let's see about prefix array theek okay? hai so 1 2 3 4 5 is okay now what i do so just see here what is the cost of how many elements are there on the left hand side no no elements so that means the total cost of changing all the elements for here on the left hand side is zero we are building prefix okay prefix what about this position what about this position so just see here the cost of changing all the elements to two will be how many elements are present here just one and what is the cost of converting that it is two okay it is two now let's come here now what i can do is what i can do just think that the cost of converting these elements to this element was suppose 2 okay was suppose 2 now how do i compute this value how do i compute this value so i can compute this value by so all the elements on 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 on, on left hand side was changed to this right all the elements were already changed to this on the cost of those were 2 now what i need to do i need to change these elements to this so that means every element will again have some cost because i am changing all the elements by a magnitude of 1 right like suppose uh, all the elements were changed to 2 now i am changing all the elements to 3 so that will have some additional cost now what will be the that cost that cost will be let's call it sum that cost will be basically all the cost that you have seen till now okay because what what are these cost representing these cost are representing You 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 will be taking this value from the um, from the cost of numbers array, right? So these number represent that. If you change this number increment or decrement by one, this is the cost. If you change this number by increment increment or decrement this number by one, then this is the cost. So that means sum basically contains the values. If you change uh, sum of values, if if you change the numbers by one, okay? So that means here what I will get. What if whatever is the sum? So till here the sum will be obviously. Uh, just a second. Okay, yeah, it will be sixteen, fourteen plus two. We'll we'll do a try run. Okay, it will be sixteen. So what will be the cost here? It will be this cost, this cost, plus total sum. That is, it will be sixteen plus two eighteen. Eighteen will come here, and then my sum will be updated to. At this step, sum plus equals to what was the cost for three? The cost for three was three. So that means it will be sixteen plus nineteen. That means the total cost till here is fourteen plus three, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Now I compute this. So what will happen? What will happen? The total cost of changing all the elements to three was eighteen. Now I am changing all those elements to four from three to four. 
So what will be the additional cost? It will be you change all the elements by one magnitude. And what was that cost? That is 19. So it will become 37. And my sum will be updated to it will be it will actually remain same, right? It will actually remain same because you don't have sorry, you don't have an element here, right? Just a second. Yeah, you don't have an element here. So your sum remains 19 only. Now you come here. What what is the cost of changing every element to 5? So the cost of changing every element to 4 was 37 plus i change every element by one more magnitude now what is that it the cost is 19 so you add it it becomes 56 so this is your prefix array right similarly you build a suffix array right one two three four sum equals to zero initially now what do you do this will obviously be zero now what will be this value let me just write these values it is 2 14 3 0 and 1 okay these are the values now uh, at this step this is zero and my sum becomes equals to one i come to this this index now what happens i see what is the cost of changing all the elements to this so it is zero plus the sum that i have so that is one i come here and my sum is again equals to one uh, nothing is updated because the value here is zero i come here now what happens what is the cost of changing every element to this element so that is the previous sum right the previous sum and your total sum that is two and your sum is updated to plus initial it was one then you add three so it becomes four now you come here what is the cost of changing every element to this so that, that this is this plus this that is six and your cost is updated to initial was four plus 14 so this becomes 18 okay now you come at this step and at this step what do you get it will be previous sum plus 18 that is 24 so these are your prefix and suffix arrays now let's see what is the minimum value if you change every element to 1, you get a sum of 24. That is what we saw in the dry run. If you change everything to 2, you get 2 plus 6. That is 8. That is what we saw in the dry run. If you change everything to this, so it is 18 plus 2. So I get 20. So changing everything to 4, it, be, it is 37 plus 1. Yes. And then 56 plus 0. Something like this. Okay. So that means this is the minimum cost. So finally, this will be my answer. So let me just reiterate what I have done or, or let me just show you the code because that will become easier to understand. Okay. We, we have understood the concept. It will become easier to understand. Just a second. Yeah. So this is my code. What we have done here is on line number four, I have taken the area that I told you cost of numbers and uh, obviously the number of elements is 10 raised to power 6 plus 2 just for the simple indexing purpose. Okay. Now cost of numbers of nums of 5 plus equals to cost. That means add all the cost of a particular number. Okay. Now on line number 9 and 10, you have prefix sum and suffix sum and answer equals to the max value just to now you construct the prefix and suffix array. What do you do? You start from 1 and prefix of i equals to prefix of i minus 1 plus sum. The thing that I told you. And after you compare compute it, add the cost of the current number to sum. So sum plus equals to cost of numbers, right? Similarly, on line number 17, you reinitialize it to 0, reset it to 0. You calculate the suffix array. So that is element count minus 2. Uh, you, you are traversing from the right to left. So suffix of i equals to suffix of i plus 1 plus sum. And then you add the sum, whatever I told you. And then you in this iteration, only calculate your answer. So answer will be math. Uh, uh, it will be minimum of answer comma suffix of i and prefix of i. And finally, you return your answer, right? So yeah, it was a good problem to solve. It is sort of an extension of the problems that uh, suppose you are given an array and you need to find the um, uh, suppose uh, product uh, you, for every i you need to find the product of all the elements except the ith element sort of similar to that one but obviously uh, much harder ones right. So yeah, in case you have any queries do mention that in the comments also if you find this channel useful uh, please subscribe to the channel it helps me keep motivated also do like the video uh, if, if you learn something new from it uh, and yeah. See you. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.